you're coming to Omaha or off it and you don't know what to expect, we got a lot to talk about. So let's talk about location. Where are we? Omaha or Bellevue is in the center of the United States. All right, in the state specifically, we're at the east edge, the east state line. So very close to Iowa, about 30 minutes away. And you're also two, hour, two to three hours away from Kansas. So if you do get bored in Omaha or run out of things to do, there's places to go that are nearly close or fairly close. However, there is a phenomenon here called four seasons in a day. I don't know if that has to do with the land being so flat or the fact that being in the center, we get all different currents from like the east and the, and the west. I don't know. I don't know. But the saying here is just give it 10 minutes. For example, let's say in the morning it's sunny, clear skies, and then 10 minutes later it's thunderstorm and rain, and then 10 minutes later it goes back to clear skies. And then we'll say by the time, by the evening, if it's winter, it may snow. Or in the summer, it may go from, it may go from like 80 degrees to 100 degrees. Now, these aren't just random examples. The, this is exactly what happened in this year's rotation of season, of the four seasons. Um, you get a little bit of break in the spring and fall, but the summers and the winters are definitely extreme and be aware of corn sweats if you don't know what that is pretty much it's just the an increased humidity now also with the traffic there's really not a lot of traffic there is rush hour which is you know global everyone goes to work and everyone leaves work uh, those times are like what 6 a.m 6 a.m to like 9 ish in the morning Monday through Friday and then the rush hour to leave work is like what 3 30 to 6 30 like within that window you're gonna hit your your rush hour traffic on the highway but other than that there's really no traffic especially in the winter i mean still you're gonna have rush hour in the winter but there's nobody outside most people stay inside during the winter. i mean you can imagine like i said it's pretty extreme the summers are also extreme but you know, people love to heat more. Just saying. All right, so let's talk about the demographics here in Omaha, or just in Nebraska in general. Uh, Nebraska is a Caucasian state. It has its majority by 75%. You know, that's not a bad thing. It's just what you're going to see majority of, okay? As far as diversity goes, and as far as people being sensitive to your culture, uh, I haven't really experienced too much of bad things. Now, being a black man here, I mean, you stick out like a sore thumb. So I can't say that it's all been good. It's like a 50-50 of what you make it. Sometimes the people you run into don't like you. Sometimes the people you run into like you. I mean, it's like that worldwide. So, I mean, here is no different. It's just you're going to run into that a lot more often. So now let's talk about things I wish I knew before I even had the idea to think about living here. And that's how hard the water is. If you don't know what hard water is, and if you didn't know that it was a level to it, well, let me explain. The hardness or softness of water is determined by the magnesium and calcium content. And it's also measured by a scale well, there's two measurements. There's parts per million, which is known as PPM, or milligrams per liter. However, I think PPM is more accurate because it's on a volume base of the actual mass in the water. Soft water has less than 17 PPM. Slightly hard water has up to 60. Moderately hard water has up to 120 PPM. Hard water is one up to 180. And then you have very hard water, which is a 181 and above. Okay. Now, in Omaha, in Omaha, in Bellevue, in Papillion, anywhere here, 
I guess on this side of Nebraska, on the east side of Nebraska, you're looking at very hard water. There is nothing less. However, in Bellevue, in pa on paper, it, they say that it's about 30 ppm. But you, there's still plenty of lime scale, especially around base uh, in, in Offit, or around the bases in Offit. Uh, there's, an, what, there's one called Rising View. Definitely a lot of lime scale. And lime scale is just pretty much the magnesium and calcium left over. And just, I guess, over time has aged and dried up. And now has become this layer over metals, I think, especially in the bathroom. It just kind of encases it in this rock. So now it almost looks like a rock. So why is this information important? Why is it important to know that Omaha has very hard water? Well, this is to prepare you for your skincare. And I don't want you to come here and then not know. And then be like, oh, well, I don't, I'm don't. i having all these issues, you know, with my allergies. Because that's what happened to me. I have issues with your allergies. You, Your skin's drying out. All of a sudden, like, what else happened? Your face is breaking out randomly. It's because of the extra content in the water. And normally, I like to take long showers. But I, I can't do that here. Because the longer, because once you know what it is, you can feel it. And it's like, it's, I don't know, it's like sand almost on your skin, but you can't see it or take it off. You just have to, you just have to take care of your skin. And the last thing I want to inform you on is how bad allergies are here. I don't know why, but this is like the holy mecca of the birth place for people to have allergies. People that come here who have never experienced hay fever, something that I have experienced my entire life. They come here for the first week that they are here and they're dying. Like, it is very bad. I don't know what it is. I don't know what's in the atmosphere that triggers it. I do think hard, the very hard water here affects people in the same way that it that your body doesn't know what to do with the extra minerals. Um, so because of that exposure, I think people react like they have allergies. That may be a possibility but for people that do have allergies and you come here, God bless. Yeah, when I first got here, I was dying. I don't, I couldn't really leave my apartment, let alone work because I couldn't see, breathe or talk because of how bad it was. And I call that the Nebraska flu. It's something that I have given a title to because you can't run from it. I don't know anyone who has Everyone that comes here says, oh, I've never had allergies before. And then they step foot off the plane and they come here to Omaha. Their stories are all the same. Yeah. But that's all the tips. So that's all That's all the things I have for you guys to come here prepared. Okay. This is not a walk in the park. If you have never encountered anything that I have mentioned before, this is going to be an extreme culture shock for you. Um... But like I said on the flip side, it's not that bad. Once you understand how to live here, you, you'll get used to it. Um, I don't enjoy being here, if I'm being honest with you. Really don't, but um, it's the Midwest. I mean, what can you say? So if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below or follow me on Instagram. Oh, and don't forget to show the channel some love. Don't forget.